Hello friends, Catherine Doss here with Cat's Keto Crew. You caught my live earlier, I told you it was the Water Wednesday woes. Um, I've used like the bathroom like three more times, peed three more times since I last talked to you. I, it's just crazy today. So, we went and got these beauties done. It's October, so we gotta rock some fun colors. But, hopped into Publix for some treats, some for some food tonight and I thought I would share what I'm going to create for dinner tonight. So picked up some basics while I was there too and basics for me involve I used all of mine all of my last ones last night. So these are the zero carb keto tortillas from La Banderita. If you are local to me the Publix in Calera carries them the Publix in Alabaster does not. So if you're local to me, just keep that in mind. Remember, these are the ones that are like street taco size and that I've been making like tacos with every single week. So just note, those are in Calera Publix and not Alabaster Publix. Other just staples for me on hand, turkey breast. Okay, so you have to remember I am dirty, lazy keto okay so I do drink my ketones on the regular basis for the appetite suppression for the energy to put me in ketosis in a less than 59 minutes and give me all of those benefits that I'm looking for but I can't be strict keto like I, I mean I could I guess but I'm chasing children and I'm doing all of the crazy things in a normal day and so I have to give myself a little bit of grace and work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Which is why I'm drinking my ketones every day. So Tina said they're in Kroger in her town. Okay, so that's good to know about those La Banderita um, tortillas. By the way, they're like pillowy soft. They're so good, so good. Someone suggested that I toast them and I was like, I don't even need to, I just wanna rah, rah, rah. Okay, <laughs> I am hungry right now. I haven't eaten yet, by the way. Anyone still intermittent fasting with me? <laughs> this is what happens when you start running errands and you're like, I drank my ketones like, oh, I don't know, six hours ago, but I still haven't, I haven't had lunch yet. I'm working on that. Okay, avocados, again, is like a staple for us because I put them on my little street tacos or I just mix them into eggs or whatever. Other staples, this is a staple around here. I know it might not be a staple for everybody, but it's coleslaw mix. So depending, I'm gonna get to what we're making for dinner tonight, but depending on how many leftovers we have, I know we have a Koneka sausage in the refrigerator, so I can always make sausage and cabbage um, that way, and so that's just easy to have on hand. Whipping cream, y'all, I don't know what's happening at the store. Like the big size that I love, um, rarely available these days. <laughs> so I'm like having to ration, but that's okay. Some heavy whipping cream. These little guys, these are Parmesan powerful snacks, whatever. They're little blocks of Parmesan. Now you like to, you need to like stinky cheese to just be munching on one of these. But like I enjoy this even more than just a cheese stick, right? Because it's got that really robust flavor to it. And so I love having some of these. They're all individually packaged too, which makes them handy for on the go. Okay, so let's talk about what I'm gonna come up with for this evening. What's this doing, y'all? Like, hello. Okay, so tonight it is, if you're in Alabama, it's still 85 degrees. Like, I'm so over it, I can't get it anymore. Supposedly there's a cold front coming this weekend and I'm channeling all of my like cold weather love because I'm over it. Like, I'm in shorts and a t-shirt, like I'm just over it. But we're gonna have something very fallish for dinner because I'm over it. So, who knows what this bad boy is? Don't be afraid. Okay, this is a spaghetti squash, for those of you who don't know, which included my Publix checkout man today, because there was no sticker on it, and he was like, um, what is this? To like ring it up. I was like, it's a spaghetti squash. I said it a lot nicer than that, but it's a spaghetti squash. So, I will pop this in the microwave, bear with me, for like five minutes, just to soften it up a little bit so I can get a knife through it, okay? If you try to get a knife through this bad boy without softening it at all, you're gonna have to be like Hulk Hogan, okay? It's tough, it's hard. So 
put it in the microwave for like five minutes and then slice it in half and then roast it. Okay, so I know you can stick this in your instant pot too, but I really do prefer it roasted. Does it take a little bit longer? Yeah, but I mean, all it's doing is sitting in the oven. So you're gonna slice it down long ways, okay, and put olive oil on the open halves and then put those halves down on some tin foil or parchment paper and then roast it in your oven. It's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take like 45 minutes, okay? But it's worth it. So then I'm gonna scrape the insides of it. So then I'll have spaghetti squash. So now what am I doing with the spaghetti squash? Okay, so I'm gonna make like a spaghetti squash casserole, but I'm gonna add hot Italian sausage into it, which I will cook in a pan, brown in a pan. So we'll have hot Italian sausage. I'm still deciding whether I'm going to put the sunflower microgreens in it. Stacy Phillips, I need to know how those are gonna do cooked. Or some baby spinach in there, some sun-dried tomatoes. So now we have sausage, sun-dried tomatoes, spinach, spaghetti squash, but we need some sort of sauce, right? Okay, you can totally make your own Alfredo, but we've, we're talking about working smarter, not harder, right? Like. I don't want to make my own Alfredo all afternoon. I just don't. So this is one of my go-tos. I love the Bertoli Alfredo sauces. They're freaking delicious. This one is only two net carbs for a quarter of a cup. Again, I'm not going to like drown it. I'm making it into the sauce of um, for my casserole. Tina, what temp? Okay, I will post how to roast a spaghetti squash. I will actually give you all detailed pictures on how, how to go about doing that because I know the first time that I got one of these, I was like, I don't know what to do. So I will help you there. Watch for a post about that. So also mixed in to the Alfredo sauce will be some cheeses. This is some Parmesan and this is some Gruyere. Like to get that nutty, delicious, deep flavor, I think I'm going to add, this is like grated Gruyere. Um, mix that in there as well. So that's what's for dinner. I will be sure to share about spaghetti squash and how to do it and all of those things and give you the download on how to cook a spaghetti squash. I mean, y'all, I had to really Google and then I had to tweak it. Cause you know, when you Google a recipe and you're like, oh, that sounds so good. And then you try it and you're like, gosh, that's so messed up. Like I made that meatloaf last week and it told me to stick it, to bake it on a baking rack. Don't do that. Don't, on a cooling rack. Don't do that. Okay, because it like fell through the rack. It was a mess. It still tasted good, but it was a mess. Like, eh, Google Pinterest fail. That's what I'm here for, y'all. <laughs> to tell you what doesn't work. <laughs> ah, and to help you work smarter, not harder. Okay, taking one for the team on these. Well, maybe I'm not, because I want to know if anyone else has tried them. So, who has seen this? This is a white claw surge. And to be honest, I really don't know what the big difference is between this surge and the regular white claws other than slightly some flavors. I, I just, I mean, I looked and I just don't know. I just, I really don't know. So two net carbs per um, can. Oh, it's a brew pure process. I don't know, maybe it tastes differently, but I'm about to try one for the team. Well, not right now, because I've got to go to Carline in a little bit. Not, we, don't, we don't need all that going down in Carline. So 8% alcohol by volume. It was the only box of them. It's like, it's, these were the only flavors that came in. So it's lime, blood orange, cranberry, and blackberry. I'll, I'll give you an update on how these taste. If you've tried these, I would love to know what your take is on them. Are they really different? There's that clock. Really different than the other White Claws. They were the same price. So, I mean, hi, I love being your guinea pig. So I figured why not? <laughs> what time is it? Is it five o'clock somewhere? No, okay. Anyway, that is my update. Basics, spaghetti squash with sausage, sun-dried tomatoes, spinach in like an Alfredo sauce for dinner. And we might have to bust one of these open tonight just to get the verdict, right? Like, someone's got to try it. Might as well be me. So, hope you're having a fabulous Wednesday. Remember to work smarter, not harder. Drink your ketones. Drink your water here on Water Wednesday. 
hang out with me in the bathroom because I have been like peeing like a racehorse all day. Um, it's just, it's been crazy town today. I don't know. Thank God for public restrooms. So anyway, <laughs> hope you're having a fantastic day and that maybe yours is um, a little smoother than mine. We'll see. Wait till these kids come home. That'll be just chaos. So hope you're having a great day. Check in with you later. Bye.